confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much 
the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment unto his ministers to declare and pronounce unto his people being penitent <coughs> the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at the present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. for this evening is Psalm 132. Psalm 132 can be found on page 508 of the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 132 will be read responsibly by half verse. <laughs> Lord, remember David and all his troubles, how he swear unto the Lord and vow a vow unto the Almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of mine house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not suffer mine eyes to sleep, nor mine eyelids to slumber, neither the temples of my head to take any rest, until I find out a place for the temple of the Lord, an habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the same at Ephratah, and, and found it in the wood. We will go into his tabernacle, and fall low on our knees before his footstool, 
Arise, O Lord, into thy resting place. Thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness. And let thy saints sing with joyfulness. For thy servant David's sake, Turn not away the face of thine anointed. The Lord hath made a faithful oath unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of thy body shall I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon thy throne forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Sion to be an habitation for himself. He hath longed for her. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have the delight therein. I will bless her victuals with increase. And I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will deck her priests with help. And her saints shall rejoice and sing. There shall I make the horn of David to flourish. I have ordained a lantern for my anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame. But upon himself, Shall his crown flourish? Hananiah died. 
Here and this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Earth, 
will draw all people to myself. He said this to he said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. This here I'm just it's the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Perfect remission and forgiveness. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land, and so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all the people, duly considering whose authority they bear, may faithfully and obediently honor them, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops, Chandler and Robert, and other clergy, especially Ian, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the help of the Spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy Holy Church Universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And now in the quiet of our hearts, let us offer up our own prayers and thanksgivings. Now, in one voice, let us say together a general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise 
not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and us promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.